Winter is here and snowflakes are falling from the skies. Grab your net and start catching them because we've got a lot of information to cover about all the new seasonal DIY recipes that you'll need to collect. What's happening everyone? It's Abdallah here, bringing you another exciting episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons Tips and Tricks tutorial videos. Today's video is focusing on all of the brand new snowflakes that you can get and all of the DIY recipes that go along with it. By the end of this video, you guys will be experts in everything snowflakes. Thanks so much for watching. Now, if you guys didn't already see, we have surpassed 850,000 subscribers and we're giving away a Nintendo Switch. So make sure that you take a look at my Twitter page on how you can enter that but it's super easy. Hit that subscribe button. You're all set and ready to go. Now, there is so much to do for Animal Crossing. As you can see, we have a huge tips and tricks playlist with all sorts of content. So get yourself caught up on watching the playlist. And this video is going to be one of four in the holiday season. So make sure you guys look forward to the rest of them. As usual, this video is going to be divided up into timestamps and chapters, so feel free to navigate the video as you see fit. We're going to show you everything you need to know about the upcoming snowflake season, when those dates are. We're going to show you how to get all of the seasonal DIY recipes that are involved with the snowflakes, and we'll show you the differences between the two snowflakes in the game. Then we'll showcase all of the seven different items within the basement of my house. Well, let's kick this off with showing you exactly when the snowflake season is. Now, it's not in every day in December, so just be very wary about that. Whenever you're playing, you may not get snowflakes just yet. The dates for snowflakes are as follows. December 11th for Northern Hemisphere, all the way through February 24th. And if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, that's going to be June 11th through August 24th. Now, if you take a look at that, that's a huge time to collect any kinds of these little flying snowflakes. And you'll notice that if they have a little shadow and they're floating around in front of you, that is a snowflake that you can easily grab your net and catch if you have good accuracy. Of course, every single one of you guys hits it 100% of the time. Anyway, so that's exactly what that is all about. Super, super simple. Now, the thing that you also want to know is that you have a limited time in order to get the maximized, optimized amount of getting these DIY recipes. Let me break it down for you. So since December 11th is exactly when it starts, there's a brand new season that happens directly after that. So starting on the 15th of December all the way through January 6th, in both Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere, we have the ornament season, when all of the cedar trees are going to have all sorts of different decorations on them, and then you could shake those uh, trees in order to get ornaments to drop. But at the same time, the balloons that come on board will also be mixed with ornament DIYs and the snowflake DIYs. So, if you guys are listening to me right now, here's what you need to do. In order to optimize this, you need to act fast because there's only four days of in between those two seasons that you can 100% get every single one of these seven DIY recipes. Got it? Good. Now, let's talk to you guys exactly about how you're going to get the DIY recipes. Insert the obligatory tutorial balloon, and this time I was actually looking for it. So, in order to get all of the snow DIY recipes for the snowflake set, you are going to need to try your hand at shooting down all of these different balloons. Now, colorations honestly doesn't matter, but if you see a balloon over there, turn up your volume, you'll hear the little sounds and then once you're good and ready you can fire them as with all seasonal diys this is the only way that you're going to get it so don't bother going into any villagers houses don't bother looking at any kind of messages and bottles all you have to do is exactly this pick up the present see what you get and climbing wall dang it and that's most likely going to be your exact excuse every single time so getting these diy recipes are going to be super rare but keep on trying, okay? Keep on trying. Because like I said earlier, you only have four days until the snowflake DIYs go into the mixed pool of all the ornament DIYs. So anyway, other than that, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of live streams in the near future to give out the ornament DIYs and the snowflake DIYs. So make sure you guys are subscribed and turn on your notifications so you know when we go live on doing that. So let's talk about the different types of snowflakes within the game. Now there's going to be your snowflake, which is the top one over here. This snowflake is going to be the ones that you're going to be going around and grabbing with your net. As we've shown you guys in the video over here, you'll see them with shadows and then all you have to do is press the A button and then catch them. They're super easy. You're going to need a handful of them in order to get all of the DIYs. Now, 
Likewise, if we take a look over here, there's also going to be a larger snowflake. Now the larger snowflakes are rewards for making perfect snow boys. Now, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but as you can see on screen over here, you can build snow boys by rolling two snowballs together. And if you have the perfect ratio of a 100% gigantic snowball for the body and maybe like a 90% for the head, then you'll be able to make a snow boy and then he'll give you a DIY recipe for the frozen set and he'll reward you with a snowflake that is the large variety every single day that you talk to him and he's got a lifespan about four days. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. I got a tutorial on that very soon, so look forward to it. So here we are. We are in the basement right now and I'm going to showcase all seven of these snowflake items within the set so that you guys are understanding of what they are and we're also going to show you the DIY recipes so you can prepare exactly how many materials you're going to need. It's going to be great. Thanks for watching. Now keep in mind that there are three different types of furniture sets for this upcoming winter. There is the snowflake one, there is the ornament set which is a video coming soon, and of course the frozen set as well. Videos on all that very very soon subscribe, turn on notifications, the, that all, you know, you know what to do. Anyway, first thing on the list right over here is going to be the snowflake wreath. But what Abdallah, it doesn't look like a wreath. That's just a flippin' snowflake. Yes, it's absolutely a snowflake. So that is exactly what the snowflake wreath looks like. Kind of cool. You can put that uh, on your door. You can put it on the wall. You can make multiples of them and just kind of like throw them all over your house. I think that looks amazing. All right, next up is the only other kind of accessory item. The rest is going to be wallpapers and floorings. Uh, this is going to be the pochette. So it looks really great. Little purse with a snowflake on it. I'm sure you'll totally rock this as you are running through the snow, making your snow boys and catching a whole bunch of snowflakes. All right, now, according to this, this is going to be the iceberg wall. Okay, so iceberg wall looks pretty cool. Right? It's not an animated wall, but this pattern is pretty much repeated all throughout the entire room. So nothing too fancy about it. The icebergs don't move, but it does have a nice little, I don't know, frozen type of icy feeling to it. So I like it. And then likewise, if we do a little pan uh, right over here, you can see that we have a little bit of an animated flooring, which is gonna be called the iceberg flooring. Now the iceberg flooring, you can see that as you're kind of running around over here, you can actually dip your, your feet in the water and make little splashes. And you can dip your feet inside the snow. And by dipping your feet inside the snow, you'll leave little tracks. So I think that this flooring is miles better than the actual wallpaper. So iceberg flooring, okay. Now that we're here, let's actually change up the scenery a little bit here. I'm going to give you guys the ski slope wall and the ski slope flooring. And we'll take a look at them. Okay, so first up is going to be the ski slope wall. Now, yes, this is exactly it. You can see that the wallpaper is really, really interesting because for one, humans are confirmed. 100%. I don't think we've ever had any human confirmation in Animal Crossing before because we all thought that the villagers were humans, but they're not because these are humans. Um, anyway, looks really great. Uh, you can see a whole bunch of different people, the ski slopes. It's pretty much a repeated pattern with the same dudes uh, snowboarding and skiing. Kind of fun. Kind of fun, right? All right. So the next thing is going to be the ski slope flooring. Now, if we zoom into this ski slope flooring, we'll be able to see that it's really just uh, snow flooring with some like little treads of someone maybe like going through some skis, maybe like some snowmobile tracks. And you can also kind of move around inside the area. And by moving around, you can leave your little tracks over there. So I don't know, kind of boring out of all of them, to be honest, but it kind of matches the set. So go for it. Okay. And then last but not least, is going to be uh, another item, which is gonna be called the Snowflake Wall. Here we go. Now this one's really cute. I do like the Snowflake Wall simply because it's a generic wall. It's a generic wall and you can see over here that the, uh, the snowflakes are all sorts of shapes and colors and you've got a little fade coloration over there. It looks good. So if you wanted just a generic kind of wall for maybe like a kid's room or any other room, then boom, you have the Snowflake Wall. But that's it. Ladies and gents, what did you guys think? I really like the iceberg. I think the iceberg is my favorite of the set. 
along with the iceberg flooring, I think is really spectacular. But other than that, the room looks pretty bare simply because we didn't fill it all up with the ornament items yet, nor have we filled it with the frozen items. So don't worry, we got those tutorials coming very, very soon. So thanks so much for watching. You guys are an amazing crowd. Thank you for being here. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for helping us reach our goals. We are on the way to 1 million subscribers, and I would love to have each and every you, every one of you on board. So hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so that you guys are alerted of the best Animal Crossing content on YouTube to date, right here, right now. Thanks for being here. Share the video on Facebook, and we'll see you on the next time. Take care.